The new evidence found in YNW Melly's upcoming retrial just put the rapper in serious trouble. Danny Polo is back from the original Melly trial, but this time, he teamed up with the new lead prosecutor that's going against Melly. These two together just investigated through YNW Melly's social medias, and they found a very concerning post. Same thing, the use of the uh, slap term, five point star, snake. Uh, he's saying he's YSL, saying he's like, and uh, he puts up his YNW uh, for life hashtag on it with the uh, five point star as well. Mr. Demons had you know, big B hand signs posted, uh, displayed. I'm starting to see with individuals again. I'm assuming that's also the young thug. That's also unknown. Yes. Also important to your investigation, correct? Yes also publicly available for anyone to see in fact. This ends up revealing that YNW Melly's street team YNW has street ties connected to Young Thug's team YSL. It comes at a very convenient time for the police department, as Melly's lawyers were putting in paperwork for a release on bond for Melly. However, it's all ruined now due to what they found on Melly's Facebook account. It all began with a report of, and I quote, YNW Melly's mother, Jamie King, informed a friend about the trial update and the appeal process via Instagram Live. King shared the appeal process could take anywhere from five months to a year, meaning that the Melly retrial isn't likely to start anytime soon. Delay my baby's trial again, so. So it finished and now you got, it was. It was a mistrial. Mis trial. Oh, okay. And they didn't give him a bond, which I've never heard of people not getting a bond on a mistrial. I, I have. Had a retrial. I have. I yeah. have because cause my kids, people say happening, no bond. Yeah. It's like, like what? And then now, so now it's delayed again because the judge like ruled on a bunch of like evidence from the first trial that wasn't gonna be allowed to be used. Right. So the prosecutors appealed it, the ruling. So now it's gone to the fourth DCA, and that can take anywhere between five months and a year. Yeah. So yeah. You don't like what the judge said because your warrants were illegal. It's a very convenient time for the police department. Just when YNW Melly had his best chance at release on bond, they find this evidence. This is why Boosie would say that when the feds want you, they'll do anything to get you when referencing the Melly case. As you need to remember, the police department are likely corrupt. Now they're putting you more charges on them and then... Um... When they want you, they want you. I knew, that, I knew they wanted them bad when they waited for that law to get passed. They waited oh, so all the way... The penalty. So it'd be 8-4. Oh, right. Yeah. You know, they waited all the way to that law got passed to take him to trial. Yeah. He was in jail for what, two years, three years? Yeah. They could have been took you to trial. You're right. They waited to that law got passed and took him to trial a couple months later. When they want you, they want you, man. Uh, just don't see how he, he didn't get a bond after a fucking mistrial. Yeah. That made me like, God damn. Yeah. Like, after a mistrial, that doesn't, that. That doesn't happen, really. As Melly's mother, Jamie King, and his lawyers have been countering this new evidence the best they can, Melly has been sitting inside a jail for five years, meaning he should be getting a good chance at receiving some sort of bond, as well as his mother, Jamie King, being worried about his health and safety. As very new high concerns have risen since it was revealed that Melly is not even allowed to use a phone inside of jail, or even look at his mail that is sent to him from family. My son has not been convicted of anything, and even other inmates that have been convicted or anything, they have the right to use a telephone. They have a right to just to be allowed to write letters to their loved ones, to receive their mail. They hold his mail, they don't give it to him. It was at this moment where Jamie King knew that she had to go and save her son. So she would start a petition to just have law officials look into his jail situation as they aren't even treating him as a human. 50,000 signatures later from people that live in the state of Florida and the police have still not done a single thing. Melly's mother then had to take it to a public interview to state the following. When you saw Melly's statement, just saying how he's been hurt, how he's scared for his life. As a mother, how did that make you feel? It's heartbreaking. It made me feel completely helpless. Broward Sheriff's Office definitely needs to be investigated. I mean, they they are making up their own rules. We've tried to go to court about this situation. The judge really doesn't have any uh, jurisdiction when it comes to the jail, because we actually had a hearing about the mistreatment of him. and. The jail kind of 
they make their own rules. And I don't think that's fair because I know that they need to answer to someone too. Depending on how long this trial lasts for YNW Melly, his mother, Jamie King, could be in very big trouble with her recent health issues. It was actually so bad during the original Melly trial that we even saw Melly having to ask if she's okay during a court session. <laughs> Sorry. which Boosie would end up reacting, sharing that it's gonna get even worse. And he even would share what Melly's mother's stress has been like and what she's been going through. Okay, so you then I met his mama while he was in. Oh, okay. I met his mom while he was in and uh, she was, she was, she real, bro. You know, she real. She's stressed out. I heard she had a Yeah, she real and I, and I, you know, I, I reached my hand out to him. Uh, Cause I'm real. Yeah, I, I reached out to him, bro. I met his mom, and she a good, she a good woman, bro. And when I see them mamas like that, I, I it remind me of what my mom was going through, bro. However, things would only get worse for YNW Melly, and let me explain. It all begins with a man named Jay Hood. He's a close friend of late King Von, as he would end up revealing a secret that YNW Melly told King Von in confidence to members that are living in O Block. Did Von really tell you that Melly told him that he was two friends? He ain't come out and say, like, we got into an argument. And so, you know, if, if, if you know, when people could say something without saying it. And so, he told me like, once I posted what I posted, he Vaughn was mad at me, bro. Why you put up there, bro? Walter the Bam, I'm like, you you sitting up here, like you know the love we got. You do this for us, but you gonna trust that a is two friends? And he said, them was trying to extort him. And so I'm like, if they was trying to extort him, then why are you still around them? Revealing information that we never even knew, involving Sack Chaser and Juvie going after Melly for financial gain. But many also believe that King Vaughn may have gave some advice to YNW Melly on how to handle this situation. If you know anything about King Vaughn, he was heavily tapped into the streets, and he also ran up quite a resume in the streets when it came to going against Ops, which is why many believe that King Vaughn may have gave advice to Melly on how to handle Sack Chaser and Juvie. So now when you pair that evidence with with the hard evidence shared during the Melly trial, this is where it gets very concerning and also revealing why YNW Melly will likely never be released from jail. To understand why, we need to first look at Melly's cell phone, as he sent a text message of him literally admitting to doing the crime. The PZ Gambino account asked him if he was okay, and his response was, I did that and placed a smiley face emoji. And the next message from 10 2018 at 1602, the YNW mailing count says what? After that, shh, Then evidence would be shared by Sergeant Williams, where he would investigate the Jeep that they were driving in, and he would quickly realize that there is no way this could have been a drive-by, and the person that committed the crime must have been sitting in the back left seat. That uh, has some movement in it, which is round uh, site L here. The, uh, the actually moving in that to create the uh the little bit of a that you see there number you said 17 outside the car how many rounds were inside the car three and can you exclude the for mr williams and mr thomas is coming from outside of the car yes so with Williams now revealing the crime must have happened inside of the vehicle, we would then see YNW Juvie's mother go to the stand and share who was sitting in the back left seat, basically confirming that it was YNW Melly. Uh, can you state your name? You're holding your name for the jury. Um, Leon Phillips. Okay. And um, can you say the name of the um, Ms. Phillips, did you see who entered into the occupants who entered into that gray, gray Jeep? Mm -hmm. And is that a yes? Yes. Do you recognize where your son entered that gray Jeep? Yes. Which seat, if you can identify for the jury? Um, he got in the back seat. 
on the um, right hand side. Did you recognize the individual that got into the back seat on the left side, the rear driver side? Yes. And who was that individual? Jamel. And Jamel, is that the defendant? Jamel Demons? Yes, ma'am. This is the exact reason as to why they're not giving YNW Melly a chance at receiving a bond. They know that YNW Melly committed this crime. However, the prosecutor in the original Melly trial just couldn't convince the jury that it was true. However, all the evidence is there. But the state of Florida isn't going to make that mistake again. Bringing in the new prosecutor, he would also bring in new charges against Melly. The state filing six new charges against Demons and two others who were allegedly involved. The charges include tampering with a witness, direct the activities of a criminal solicitation or conspiracy to commit tampering and unlawful use of a two-way communication device. Now, a couple of those charges actually carry a life in prison sentence if there's a conviction. YNW Melly, his real name is Jamel Demons. He's actually in plain clothes in the courtroom for the first time in months. Again, as this judge really starts the long process of seating a new jury. As these new charges are connected to YNW Bortland's massive mistake. As it would be announced that Bortland was arrested for witness tampering, as while his house was being raided by the feds, they found some insane paperwork against Bortland and Melly. Melly's co-defendant YNW Bortland was booked into a Miami jail Monday night and is being held behind bars on an out-of-county warrant. We just confirmed the warrant is out of Broward County for witness tampering. The warrant obtained by Long Crime Network states as follows. On or about April 10, 2023, continuing through and including July 22, 2023, Cortland Henry, aka Bortland, along with others, did unlawfully and knowingly engage in misleading conduct toward another person with the intent to cause or induce them to withhold testimony. The warrant continues the alleged witness had been summoned by the legal process to the jury trial of Jamel Demons, aka YNW Melly. The dates in the warrant are important. Jury selection for Melly started in mid-April, and a judge declared a mistrial on July 22nd, the same day the warrant claims Bortland allegedly tampered with the witness. It would then be announced by Rice and Paul, here are the images of alleged notes discovered during the home raid of YNW Bortland's home last week, as filed into the Brower clerks by the state. Alongside these photos here of YNW Bortland drawing on a piece of paper where all of the jurors were sitting during the original Melly trial, even a description of what they look like as well. This is highly illegal and to understand how serious this is, here's DJ Academics' reaction to it. To keep it real, this is sloppy. Portland, how the f*** you gonna have the notebook of the jurors in your house? My god damn. Holy sh**. You know what I mean? Like, brother, like, come the f*** on. It, 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 it's like, it's like doing a and and having the, the surveillance tape in your DVD player or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. Like, like they raid your crib and and the and the the surveillance footage of the is in your DVD player. They be like, oh, okay, thank you, brother. This can't be at your crib.